previously on the season. Between now and the trials, you need to be doing three hours of study per week every week. Come on, Jake, find something! Unbelievable this is. There's too many of us worried about what we've done rather than what's going to happen in the next 40 minutes. Oi, oi, let's start playing for 40. Don't give them reasons not to pick you. We don't pick the footy side, you do. And you do that through the way that you play. If they don't want to battle with us, if they don't want to do the tough yards with us, we'll get them. And you'll feel it. You'll know. You'll know when it comes. Escaping the clutches of Patrician Brothers Blacktown in the quarterfinals, Westfields now line up against another traditional rugby league rival. Endeavour Sports High School are, are a strong uh, rugby league school. Uh, they've proven that over the last 10 years. They had really strong outside backs, which carried really, really well for them. So it's important that we um, minimised um, what they, the impact that they had on the game. Who missed that? Who missed that tackle? There was a lot of expectation from our school and stuff, but I think really we went out there in that next game, um, yeah, very confident in our ability and where we wanted to be. That's where they're a threat down here. Yeah, but you've got to make that tackle. He went through two, two or three defenders, mate. That's attention to detail, boys. That's, that's on what play for after we just built them down here. When those players get the ball, there needs to be an awareness and we need to make a concerted effort to drop him and make a tackle on him. The three's been sick for about four weeks. Have a go at his body language. You're just going to make tackles on the boys. The early defensive error is a minor blip on what becomes a commanding first half for the defending champions as combinations start to click. Good boy, Tommy! If he, Tommy's going to get the ball, turn to hold that inside player. Yeah, yeah. And run, just keep playing direct at him. Tempo, see? Just playing quick and don't give him time to fill the space and get to you. Like, what do I say to you down there? I don't care you miss the tackle, but if you say throw on me one more time, forget about it. It doesn't matter. That won't cost us a game. You're worrying about it, Will. We're going to have plenty of joy in the middle. I reckon their left edge is what we're going to exploit, all right? Earn the right first. But we're going to have plenty of joy down there, left edge with the footy. Tommy playing with tempo, playing nice and fast, and everybody running for real. Shut him up. Why are we in front? We've held onto the ball, we've built pressure, we've gone through the middle of them, and when we get down near the trial line, they're struggling to keep defending. So the last thing we need to go out there and just change what we're doing. Westfields continue on the attack, finding gaps in the Endeavour defence, and the momentum continues leading into half-time. Yeah! That's me! Oh, Signs of a good team are, and it's very hard to do when you're leading like you are, is to go out there with the same intent to want to put the sword to these blokes. When they look up and pick the ball up, they can't hardly see the goalpost, it's that far away. You keep, you turn a bit of ball over in good ball for them and you'll see their body language lift, they'll all come out of the ground. Don't lose the excitement of winning footy games. Learn to put your foot on the throat of the opponent and take it away from him. If it takes another 15 minutes for us to score a try, it doesn't matter as long as they don't score any. Get in the arm wrestle again. Be prepared to get in the arm wrestle. Don't stop playing footy. It's not all about defence. We don't stop playing footy here. But defensively, they do not score a try this half. All good? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. That's the best one we scored this year. It's on, a, on a last tackle. We said last tackle, though. It's hard to these kids, mate. They're different, man. They don't have the stars. They're just for different. Yes. Oh, look at it. Look at it. 
Top house, snowball. Okay. Be sure. A mini revival sees the Sutherland Shire School put more points on the board, much to the frustration of the coaching staff. I guarantee you win these next two sets. Game over. Win these next two sets. Yep, that's five minutes. Body language, body language. Go look at He's got a double. Take six. Uh, Trin, bring Jordan Main off. Bring Jordan Main. Uh, do you reckon Jordan Main? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Or Phil. Jordan Main or Phil? Jordan Main. OK, you're, you're, you're going, to, going to hooker. Well, well, he's going for Lindsay. I mean, no, not Lindsay. Two points, Wayne. There's nine minutes to go. Hey. Wayne, Wayne. Trinity. I want you to go out there and the first thing you want to say to them is we don't want to lose momentum, boys. We've got to get back to running hard and completing our sets. Actually, Snowball, come. Snowball. No, no, Jordan. Stop being... Hey, boys, it's not a charity. Put Jordan back on. Keep your best team running. All right. We want it. We're 22 minutes to go. Six minutes to go. <laughs> oh, oh, let's be the Red Cross and give everyone a go. Yeah, well, look at him. And look, that's what happens. He's off. Yeah, but what, what you save him, mate. Yeah, but I said, no, but... Look at him. Look, I'm telling you, get them players off. If one of them gets injured, it hurts us. Give the other kids some game. We're four tries in front, four tries in front, and, and get the players off. And get them. <laughs> Give the other guys a run. Six minutes. If it, if it was 12 points, I'd say no way, but 22. Don't worry about it. Like there's no need. We're going to have tough periods. But there's no need for that. It's human error. It happens. I know we don't need it. Didn't happen in the first half. Because we're fatigued now, because we've done a lot of defence. We've started to change how we played. All because people start to get comfortable and we start doing things we're not meant to. No one scores here. Nobody. <clears throat> here, Joe, I've got to get off. I'm not allowed on the scroll. No one scores here. Nobody scores. Nobody scores. True to Stephen Howell's advice, nobody crosses the Westfield try line again. Despite dispatching a school that has won the national title four times, the game was far from perfect. Thank you. We actually did a really good job there of staying in the moment, not getting ahead of ourselves and, and worried about who was next or what we'll do. And, you know, we knew Endeavour um, presented a real challenge for us and we wanted to go out there and meet that challenge. And I think we did a really good job there of doing that. Westfields qualifies for their second straight state grand final. Now it's a case of keeping the team healthy and avoiding injury. We've got two weeks. How do we stop them from playing club what do we do in next two week? weeks? What do we do next week? It's a season full of rep, club and state commitments. But the GIO Cup has a special meaning. The GIO Cup's been around since 1975. The boys are, are, are quite excited to play uh, GIO because they have that opportunity to play on um, a first grade field and, and before the NRL teams. But it's also important to the players because they're playing with their schoolmates and their teammates. Congratulations, there's a lot of good games there. Let's enjoy it. Get to school, keep your heads down. You've got two weeks till a grand final. We get to hold on to that cup, but we do want to win it. It's a new team, really. So let's, let's make it our own now. We don't have to worry about what last year's team done. That's over. It's this year's team now. They're gone. Sweet. Like all great teams, the present is there to be celebrated. But minds will soon wander to a local derby, shaping in a fortnight's time, where the state grand final will bring together two long-time rivals. Hell's my beta. Hell's my beta. There's too many of us in here. That should be all right for now. Sam's up there already doing some testing. So he actually has the trundle and the cones I've put in there. 
Um, I'll be up shortly. Yeah. Okay. I'm Kellyanne Redman. I'm doing my Masters of Research at Western Sydney University. I'm looking at the effects fatigue has on decision making in junior rugby league players. So today um, we have them go through a rugby league match simulation and then we assess their decision making abilities pre, at half time and post. I'll give you. Yeah. Do we have to ask someone? Uh, Bullos. Bulos might be up there, if not Wiggs has a key. As you can tell, it's quite a large setup. So the, a lot of the work goes in just the preparation, the setting up and then the pulling back down. Um, yeah, I mean, it can get a bit rushed at times because we want when the participants turn up, everything to be ready to go. I find the senior players um, are more responsive. They like to ask maybe more questions. They push each other more and what have you than the younger ones. I guess they're still trying to find their way. They're a little bit unsure. I understand testing can be a bit confronting. So I've been here at Westfields for a year now, just building those relationships to get to this point of testing. So when I chase them down in class and ask them why it is they weren't there, they, can, they kind of feel obliged to answer me. Um, because I'm not just some researcher off the street. I have been with the program for a while now and they do know me as a person. My testing relies on a lot of technology as well. So we have the time and gates here, cameras, there's a UE boom that uh, gives the auto commands for the boys to let them know where it is that they have to run to. This decision-making assessment is much more ecologically valid uh, than the temporal occlusion. So in a match, they will have to react to a player. So right now, they're gonna to have to react to Sam. We're using the timing gates to get an assessment of their total time. Um, we also have high-speed video cameras capturing their foot movements. We can get a more accurate snapshot of that. The second test is a temporal occlusion method, so the boys will see 15 seconds of a rugby league uh, clip and then it'll pause for three seconds and they have to circle who they think should receive the ball next. So you're going to see five clips right now, Jake. Do your best. How we assess fatigue is we use a force platform. Uh, so the boys will complete a counter movement jump and apply metric push up. Good, that's all right, you can reset. Yep, go. And go. Good. And then also the simulation is going to be them walking, running, tackling, um, simulating being tackled. Jog to yellow cone. Quick get to the red cone, then jog to the yellow cone. Go, 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 go. Try and get there by the bib. Good work. Pull to blue cone. Come on, boys. Come on, Ben. So there's two cycles here where the ball is in play. That's where we'll see a lot of the sprinting. Come on. That's where we will see the contact with the tackle bag and the simulation of being contacted, which is the flapjack. So always after a sprint, there will be a rest period, like we see in a game. Come on, boys. Get out of the way. Roll. Roll back. Good. Up, up, up. Because <laughs> oh, that's what I was waiting for. And then you just stood there looking at me like, I think he was quite conscious that you were there as well. So out of the research itself, I'm hoping that we are going to see some form of effect, uh, whether it is that their decision-making abilities improve or they decrease. Obviously, the rugby league program is so strong here. Um, given that I am doing research in rugby league, it only made sense to come here to do my research. And then obviously with the calibre of the coaches as well, like for myself and my own professional development, interacting with them all uh, has helped and they've helped me engage with people outside of the school um, in rugby league. Go grab a drink or whatever and then we'll get started, we'll do that again. The team's leader is Australian schoolboy representative, Lindsay Smith who is quick to credit Westfields with helping him strike a balance between academics and sport. The school's done a lot for me, obviously, um, especially going into school. I wasn't a very known footballer, I guess, and over the years I've sort of put a lot of time and effort and the coaches there have really helped develop me to the player 
I've sort of got to now. Obviously, there's a long way to go, but they've had a huge role in uh, the seasons that have passed and the achievements that a lot of our players have made, and also myself. Um, and also, education-wise, um, they give me a lot of opportunity. Uh, it's good having the balance between sport and school, and uh, it's really good just to get the opportunity to go to that school, and it's been amazing. Smith has achieved many of his student athlete goals and acknowledges the important role that those close to him have played in that pursuit. Mum and Dad, they do a lot for me, uh, running me to and from school for the five years I didn't have a licence. It was a lot of hard work. Mum used to drive me to school every day and I used to make get her to pick me up three times a week. So uh, it was a lot of commitment from them. I got my car off from Mum in January when I bought it off her um, when I got my licence. So. Ever since then, it's been quite easy to go to school, I guess. Obviously, academically, the school's quite good, um, especially myself. I have a fair good group of teachers, I guess. Um, they're always willing to help out whenever, and I have one of the teachers that has a lot to do with the footy program, Miss Bird, and she's always been very supportive of me, and she does a lot for the footy program as well with offering tutoring lessons to guys that are falling behind. He's a good captain. He's a good guy. He's just so, he's always there bringing you back up. Like, when, when you think you're down, he'll always look at the positives. His work ethic is something I've never seen before and he's made me want to be a better player. We do a few classes together and he's always pushing me to do more in class and if I get a decent HSC, which I think I will, it's, it's like I've got to thank him a lot. When I leave school I'll miss um, obviously the training and also uh, the mates that I've gained throughout the years through one the footy team and, but also the mates that I've gained outside the footy. Hopes for this season, obviously, is um, to win the GIO. That's one of the biggest things on my mind. I think we can go two from two, and uh, yeah, I think the bo group boys this year we've got a we do have a talented bunch, but I think we've just got that real grit sort of footy in us that can get us over the line. Must I found another one? Hey, miss. Oh, it's just it? coins, miss. It's just coins. Yeah. Okay. Sign, please. Thanks, Miss. See ya. Bye. What we do is before our game day, we just we we'll turn up to Miss Kenny and uh, we just sign in, and it's just for uh, before game so that the other team they check our sheet and they look at everyone who signed on. Their officials check whether you've been suspended off field, off school footy, so they'll just check it up. It just comes down to professionalism with the boys turning up and being able to sign on and do what we got to do before we leave. The sign-on procedure is critical when it comes to the GIO Cup competition. Strict rules are enforced to ensure eligible students take the field, but on the day of the state grand final, there are no absences or infringements. This is the biggest game of the year thus far, with all eyes on Campbelltown, and the coaches, realising this could be the final game for some of the senior students, take time to reflect on the past six years. The hype surrounding the state grand final has been heightened due to the much anticipated matchup against the local rival school, Hill Sports High. The boys uh, in our squad uh, are quite close with the, with the Hills players. Um, they tend to play in, in junior rep squads together. Um, and the, the rivalry, I guess, has, has been there for, for a few years now. You know, there'd been a fair bit of hype about, you know, the Hill Sports team. I think they had 10 CHS players, which was a record, and, and so many Australian schoolboys and, and New Zealand schoolboys. Hills have always been rivals ever since U7. It was just, it was just a pretty big game for us. It was, it was one we definitely wanted to win. We've always had um, a bit of beef with uh, Hills, and um, oh, this whole season uh, they've been talking it up, so, and plus we put in the hard work. Some of the boys are from same teams and it just meant um, like a lot more to the boys. We were the doubted team, we were apparently the team that wouldn't make it that far. They have a very good side talent-wise and had a lot of, lot of players in um, representative sides. We heard a lot about how they could not possibly lose the state final and um, I guess that sort of drove the boys. But we sort of knew we couldn't go out to get revenge or whatever and that um, that would come after. If we put in the effort and just played our style of footy that we knew we'd crack them and although they've got a lot of talented players we knew in some situations when you put um, those calibre of players under a lot of pressure and turn them away that many times that I do start to crack.
just wanted to say a few quick words. Now, firstly, just to wish you all the best uh, and think about how important this game is, not to make you more nervous than you probably already are, but uh, for those of you that are in year 12, this is six years of hard work and the game will be tough. You're a talented group. I know we've got the best coaches. You just need to believe in yourselves. Don't drop the ball, hold the ball, play out your sets. Good luck and looking forward to being out there and cheering you on. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Nothing changes. We're not going to win the game here in our warm-up. Nice and composed here of what we do, attention to detail, all the little things. And if you are feeling nervous, have a look at the first of next year, because I, I would say since year seven, they've always had your back. Yeah? Always together. We've always had each other's back. Today's no different. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Okay, get it hard. Everyone in here together. Have a look around here, mate. He's never let you down yet. He's never let you down yet. You need to double your runs from the Endeavour game, eh? And play straight. Exactly the same as the way you've been playing. You got better with each game, but you're going, you're doing more of what we like you to do. Don't have to do anything different, Joel. Okay? The minute you try and do something different is the minute you're going away from what you've been good at. Yeah, if you're scared of loud yelling and screaming in your face, don't go out there because they're going to. I don't want you to get into a personal war with the number opposite you. Okay, I don't want you to do that. It's not about you versus him. It's about us versus them. And trust in that if I get into trouble as a player out there, my mate will look after me. As I said to you last time, this is our theory with this footy team this year. Last year was trust. This year is about having something that you can't turn up on the day and get in the dressing room. It's something that's built over many years. And that's a win attitude and it's a win action that you guys have. You can't turn up today and hope that you've got it. You can't turn up today and put six, five, six years of experience of playing footy near each other into a room today. It's, you've got to have that before you get here. We knew that we had to be at our best to be able to, to get the result and the boys didn't need any motivation. They were up for the game, they were positive, they knew exactly what they had to execute on the day. You know, the rep footy had sort of gone on before we played there and a few of our boys had missed out and, and sort of overlooked for some of those players there. So there was definitely a little bit of fire in the belly from our boys and that there. But once again, we didn't want to make the same mistake against Blacktown and make it personal. So for us, we just wanted to go out there and execute and, and play the way that we know that we can play. And we're very confident we could, uh, we could get the win. Next time on The Season. Them being so happy just to see me and have my presence here, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. A lot of our Opens players have come through from Year 7. Seldom do we bring in kids past Year 10. Jordan, get up! Jordan! Please, you've got 45 seconds! Smith makes that tackle. 10 from the line. 20 seconds to go. For enrolment information, please visit the Westfield Sports Facebook page.